Here we are, 80s Wrestling Con number two, B. Brian Blair in the house. Of course, one of the legendary members of the Killer Bees here, along with Jumpin' Jim Bronzel. Brian, it's awesome to see you. I haven't seen you since uh, the Wrestling Hall of Fame a couple years ago. That's right, Andy, and you know there's something I like about you. And that's uh, because I'm just a little bit taller than you. <laughs> but you know what? I love this guy, Andy. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't come for the ride because you see me and Jumpin' Jim, we've been from Maine to Spain. We've been deep down in the Ukraine. We've been accused of spreading pollen from New York to Holland. We've, we've been north, <laughs> south, east, and west, from ocean to ocean, to coast to coast. But there's one guy that I really dig the most, and it's this guy uh, here, because he's just man. small enough I can choke him and get away with it. <laughs> Good to see you, Andy. Good to see you, What's Brian? buzzing, guys? And I was going to say, Orange Blossom Special. Orange <laughs> Blossom Special right now at Hazel's Honey Hut. That's right. <laughs> I love it, She's man. She's got the best honey. I'll tell you what, I don't mind dishing out some money for Hazel's honey. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Brian, uh, you know, it's awesome to see you. This is an event that I was my first time here, an amazing time. How awesome is it to see your fans? It's awesome. You know, I love the fans. I run the Cauliflower Alley Club. I don't know if you've, that's a nonprofit yes. for the... Uh, for the guys that fall yep. on, ha are on very fi hard financial times, yes, I've been doing it for six years and uh, president and CEO. And if you guys get a chance, go to caulifloweralleyclub.org and you be can become a member for $25 and help out your favorite wrestlers that entertain you that have either from disease or, you know, look at Kamala. Kamala almost lost, he lost his legs, almost mm -hmm. lost everything, but we raised $13,000 for him and saved his home. And it's because of people like you that join the Cauliflower Alley Club that we can help these wrestlers. So just go to caulifloweralleyclub.org for 25 bucks. You can become a member and you can come to our next reunion, the 55th, April 27th to the yes. 29th in Las yes. Vegas, Nevada. I love it, Brian. I love it. It's gonna Greatest be party on earth. Exciting times for sure. And you know, you look around, you see some of your old colleagues, your old friends, and oh, reminisce about the business. Everybody I mean. here. I've been on a card with everybody here. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you remember most about, especially that run with the Killer Bees of the 80s? Oh, was a great run. Uh, probably my one of my favorite spots was when they wheeled us out in those modified uh, golf carts and a yes. pair of modified underwear, and you look around and you see almost 100,000 screaming fans, uh, that was a big rush to WrestleMania III. Uh, you know, winning the Survivor Series, uh, winning the Jack Tunney Tournament, uh, you know, we were promised the belts three times, and um, that's why I wound up leaving. Right. Uh, because Vince would always say the chase, the money's in the hunt, the money's in the hunt. Right, but right. you can only hunt so long before the people stop believing in you. And right. uh, um, so I went and opened up Gold's Gym, became uh, financially successful, basically went from welfare to millionaire. Um, and um, I'm just, I just thank God for every day. And I love meeting people, you know, people, um, I don't care what political party you are, what color you are, I just love people and uh, that's my heart, that's my passion and um, being out here signing autographs, I try to uh, talk about a memory or a story with each one of the fans right, and, right. and uh, try to make, uh, make it more than just a signing. Yeah, and certainly the people love you right back. When you love something, it loves you back, you know, in a lot of ways, how much effort you put into it. That's what you've done for this industry and, and certainly wrestling con. And going forward, I mean, I, I asked Jim this question. Tag team wrestling is just not the same today. It's so different. It's not, Andy, and it's, it's, it's too much uh, pinball and not enough psychology. High spot, high spot, high spot. You, you got to, um, you got to, it's like a movie. If you don't capture their imagination and it's real, it's like um, if you saw Superman and Batman fighting and the punch missed by two feet, you're gonna, you're not gonna like that movie so much, you know? So we make sure that, at least I did, we do, that we hit people when we hit them, but we hit them in the right places. And uh, we want people to be captivated. We want them to, to be real. We um, use the psychology, you know, that the uh, uh, bad guy cannot out-wrestle the good guy. So he's got to resort, resort to heel tricks. And then sometime in the match, in the tag team match, the heels have got to stop the baby faces and work a hold for a minute. And they don't do that. And they miss the whole point. Right. And so, things are different. You know, things are different now. Obviously, the business has but, changed. But see, I do it. I've done it. I mean, I just had my last match, August, uh, July 27th. Um, and uh, it's on YouTube. I just uh, I had a back operation the week before, I mean, the week after. Right. on uh, August 2nd and um, the people went crazy they love that old school psychology every time I use that old school psychology I don't care where I'm at 
the people love it. Right. And, and you know, you talk about some of the history and some of the changes, and a lot of change in wrestling right now. AEW, WWE, some really legitimate competition, which hasn't happened in many years. You know, in terms of a, a major network deal, I guess, aside from Impact Wrestling and TNA, uh, competition they always say brings out the best of each other. But is it hard to dethrone a WWE? It's got to be very difficult to dethrone a big juggernaut like that. Well, w WWE is the 800-pound gorilla, and um, they're going to be very hard to dethrone. They're just a household name. Uh, I wish AEW luck, just like ROH and every other uh, NWA, all the uh, different uh, um, promotions that there are, you know, because it gives the boys an extra place to work, right. uh, uh, which is great. And like you said, Andy, competition brings out the best in others. And I've, you've noticed uh, since they're having the ratings wars right yep. now, yep. AEW, WWE, uh, that, um, that the, they, the product has been upgraded. Right, right. So, so it's, it gets better. Yeah, it gets better it's inside, better. you know. So, but I got friends on all sides of the aisle, so I got to stay everywhere, baby. Everywhere, <laughs> Brian. I, I got to ask you this as well. Killer bees. Do they have a place at the WWE Hall of Fame? I'm hoping 2020 is our year. We're in Tampa, my home, yeah. my hometown, where I've been the county commissioner at large, which is uh, running for uh, county commissioner at large in yeah. Hillsborough County, where Tampa is. Uh, there's three municipalities there: Tampa, Temple, Terrace and uh, Plant City. It's 1,078.2 square miles wow. with 1.35 million people, which is more than 10 other states. Wow. So it's a, it's a lot to campaign and a lot of uh, stuff to learn, but I spent six years in politics, wow. uh, loved it, um, uh, was able to help the community a lot. It's audited that uh, ideas that I came up with, you got to convince three other people of your ideas on a seven-man board right but uh, the ideas that uh, I threw forward wound up audited saving the county over a billion dollars in a four in a four-year period amazing that was amazing a billion dollars and we only have a six billion dollar budget a year. Right. so hopefully this year's the year you guys get in yeah this is my this is what I'm hoping so if uh, fans out there please write to WWE and uh, Tell them that the killer bees belong in the Hall of Fame because we do. I got more scars than you could shake a stick That's, at. I oh, got look at that. scars right here where Eric Holy the Red cow. stabbed me. I got oh my. dislocations. Wow. I've got That's quite a thumb. Holy cow. I just had a back operation. I've got, wow. uh, uh, I don't know, I had 100 staples in my back. I've got uh, my uh, uh, five discs fused, new right knee. Uh, left quad torn off, four concussions, squirted blood on Donald Trump in WrestleMania 4, on his wife, uh, Ivana, <laughs> in WrestleMania That's 4. That's a great memory there. Oh, yeah, he actually uh, got a handkerchief and took me to the back because everybody was watching the matches, and they just <laughs> left me there bleeding, you know. They didn't know probably that I was bleeding so bad. And uh, Mr. Trump got up and put the uh, handkerchief on. Uh, Marla very Maples, cordial. Was it? Marla Maples? Uh, pardon me? Was it Marla Maples, I think? I, I can't remember. You know, I was dizzy. It was a beautiful lady. <laughs> you, you I, don't, I didn't even know who he was. Yeah. I didn't even know who he was. So just some rich guy we're, rest, we're wrestling at his uh, place in yeah. Atlantic City. So I didn't even know who he was. And he walks me all the way to uh, uh, to the uh, rampway and waits on the ambulance with me, just holding the thing there. And he missed the whole main event. I did not know that. That's, That's a true story. Interesting side note, big time backstory That's right a true there. That's true story. For right B. Brian Blair. And, and Brian, we want to say thank you for taking the time for us. And uh, we hope WWE Hall of Fame Orange Blossom Special right here at 80s Wrestling Con. That's right. You guys keep on buzzing. Love you. <laughs>